Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was really hoping I would have this video out prior to Hanukkah, but I figured, you know, at least during Hanukkah is better than never. So um, this video and the next one are going to be two Hanukkah items that I acquired from American Girl recently. Uh, this one is the Hanukkah celebration outfit. Uh, you know, it's... <laughs> I've heard a lot of complaints about, you know, American Girl, you know, does Christmas outfits all the time, you know, and even if, you know, they're holiday outfits, but <laughs> call it Christmas if that's what it is. It's a Christmas outfit. But then the Cultural Celebrations collection allowed American Girl to do more. And that's where you got the Diwali outfit. You got the Dia de los Muertos. You got the Chinese, or I should say Lunar New Year, um, the Eid el Fitar um, outfit, and they also did Hanukkah, but that was, again, just another blue and silver dress, and there's a lot more Jewish holidays than just Hanukkah. There's a lot more that American Girl could do with, um, Jewish holidays, and yet we have another blue and silver dress. That being said, I still think it's a very pretty dress, and I am, um, happy to have it. So I am going to be trying this on Lindsay. Um, I know she's a pleasant company. Well, she's going to be a, a more fuller doll just to see how we're doing there. Oh, I was afraid of that. Okay. So first up shoes. Um, these are glittery shoes, but they're rough, which means that glitter is going to come off of them. They look almost identical to the that purchase with purchase dress the star and snowflakes blue dress that had silver shoes like this i bet they are identical i have the on a doll right now i could go check um when i switch videos or switch camera angles um and then we have the dress here um uh the big thing i just didn't like you know i wasn't originally going to add this to my dress but i love the hemline uh, but what I don't like is that this, like, swimsuit material, it's not swimsuit, it's like, it's just straight plastic. I would not want to wear that. Like, I know it definitely needs it to help the dress be fuller, but, like, pick a different material, or do tulle, or, I don't know, I don't like this material, it's just, it reminds me of, like, those stringy backpacks that, you know, you have middle school athletes use. That's what it sounds like, that's what it feels like. Um, bows, pretty basic, but it does, it is nice that the ribbon goes all the way around. Um, and then we just have this velvet, oh my gosh, the, the whole inside of this dress is that material. Oh my gosh, this, that would not be comfortable. Ugh, oh well. Okay, and then we have a headband. Um, I think the headband is, oh good, the headband has glitter, but it's inside the plastic so it's just part of the plastic so that won't come off and we have a star of david necklace um i only have two of these because i got one in the uh mystery bags and i'm pretty sure it's the same as the other hanukkah set as well and then of course the cultural celebrations um i think this is probably the older one yeah, this, it doesn't have Dia de los Muertos on it, but there's the Hanukkah. Okay. So, um, for what's included, it is a pretty basic dress. Uh, definitely could have done a lot more with it. Um, and for the cost of it, I think they definitely should have been something, this, you know, either a longer dress or a set of tights or, you know, actually decent material as the lining. I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to get this on my Lindsay doll. I'm going to run and check to see if these shoes are like the other shoes. And I'll be right back. Okay. So here is my Lindsay. Um, yeah, I think she's beautiful in this dress. So let me turn her around real quick. As I said, you know, she was a fuller doll, so I was worried I wouldn't be able to get it quite on her. And I did. I struggled um, 
getting the dropped waist like up over her waist and you can see I didn't quite get it fully closed here so for your but it's it's not bad like it's definitely a lot better than I was expecting um so just keep that in mind if you do want to buy this for an older doll um like you know Lindsay being our our modern named Jewish character I love the hairband I think it's really cute very simple I love that the 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 ribbon matches I uh, but that's kind of where my uh, positives end <laughs> um, so I guess and I am like honestly my my favorite thing about this is the hairband and this print here but everything else I could do without um, you know I, I'm glad I've got another Star David necklace but you know, take that away, it could just be a really generic holiday outfit. There, there's really nothing here that screams, like, I'm going to wear this to a Jewish um, Hanukkah night. It is a cute dress, um, but there's just so many issues with it that I, I think this is probably the lowest I'm giving, I've am giving i ever given something on my channel, but I'm going to give it a B-. minus. Like, I'm glad I have it, so that's why I'm going to stay in the B range, because... I, I did want to add it to my collection. Like I said, I really do love this this print right here. Um, it's not print per se, but honestly, when I see this, I see like I see I see Christmas trees. That's what I see. They look like trees to me, like snowy covered trees, which is, has nothing to do with Monica. <laughs> so like, I I think the dress is really cute. I just it's a marketing issue for me. This isn't. A Hanukkah dress for me. This is a beautiful holiday dress. Um, I'm actually not going to leave. I'm going to keep the necklace on uh, Lindsay, but she's definitely headed into the happy yarmulke shirt. Um, she might keep the hairband though, so she doesn't have to wear that off glitter dreidel. <laughs> um, but she'll definitely keep the, the, the Star of David necklace. Um, okay, so mentioned about the shoes and how I thought they were like this other dress. So I did find my Truly Me 21 is wearing um, Hannah. She is wearing this. I, it was like ended up ended up costing like five dollars at the end of the whole ordeal. Um, I do want to say this dress is longer than this one. Um, that's, I think, also, like, a huge issue I have with this one is that one, the lining underneath is just awful, but then it needs to be a little longer or have tights or something. And that was a complaint I know a lot of people had with this outfit, too, is that, like, it needed tights. Um, it did come with a headband, but that's just as bad as the shoes, so in order to avoid glitter, I just don't use the headband. I will say, though, these shoes are better than these shoes. Okay, so I don't know if the detail is coming through a whole lot. Um, these fit the doll better. Um, these, like, you know, I'm not sure about with if tights. There's actually maybe not enough room to have tights. Um, these definitely can see the gaps around her foot. Um, but the quality of glitter is just so much better on the Hanukkah outfit. Um, it's a smaller grain glitter, and so it looks better. Um, and this is a larger grain and so it's a little chunkier. And so overall, the effect is this one's just a lot more elegant. Either way, American girl, please coat your shoes. We don't want glitter everywhere. I, I don't want to feel the glitter. I don't want it to come off on my fingers. I want you to coat this so I don't have to coat this. I do need to put Mod Podge on both of these to help minimize the glitter. Um, the other difference between the two shoes is the sole color. I uh, see they do have two different sole colors. This one is um, black and this one's gray. But overall, these are definitely the higher quality shoes between the two. Um, so that's, that is good. I, I am you know, I'm glad it reminded me of this, of those shoes, but I'm glad to report that it is a much higher quality than the cheapo purchase with purchase dress. Ah, so cute. But yeah, if you hide the Star of David, 
you really couldn't tell that this was a Hanukkah dress. Um, so, yeah, overall, this outfit, because of what it was marketed as, it just didn't live up to what it was marketed as. I, that, that's my biggest issue. Uh, then I also have a really big issue with the lining under the dress. That's just cheap plastic material. I have an issue with the shoes. Even though they are better quality, they're still, they're still rough. You're still going to get glitter everywhere. My highlights, again, for this dress, that the headband is cute and that the ribbon actually matches down here, but that's where my positive ends. So, lowest rating so far. Um, and I really did debate. I debated this outfit quite a bit. It's been out for a year now as to should I get it or not. And I, I did decide on it, yes, that I wanted, you know, I, I did want it. Um... Thankful I got it with rewards and a discount and all of that, but um, definitely, you know, wait till it goes on sale, for sure. If you want to add it, wait for a discount, wait for a sale. Um, or, just don't buy it. <laughs> also works. Um, if you do want a Star of David necklace, there are other ways to get a Star of David necklace. One is there is, it's in the mystery, Hanukkah mystery packs. Um, those codes are available um, online that you can, you know, if you have the chance to get to the, get to a store. I know that not everyone has that opportunity, but if you get to a store and can search through the packs there, you can get a Star of David or you can just straight up buy the, the Hanukkah set, the one with the menorah, I think it's got a silver menorah and blue candles and it's really pretty and it does come with a Star of David necklace. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my review. Um, in my next video I have another Hanukkah surprise, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.